How to make tempura? In this movie, I would like to explain how to prepare the tempura ingredients and how to deep fry them. Black tiger shrimp is one of the major ingredients of tempura. For tempura, the 2630 size in case of the small ones and 16 to 20 size in case of the big ones are used. First, remove the triangle shell of the tip and strip it from the head side. When you peel the shell, do not remove the last fragment. By leaving that shell part, it will prevent the tail to come off and when you deep fry it, it will prevent from not being colorful. Make an incision on the back and remove the digestive tract. Then flip the shrimp, make incisions to cut the tendon at an angle of 45 degrees to the shrimp where the legs existed. After you made the incisions, flip the shrimp and cut the tendon by lifting up the tail side joint. By using your thumb and index, squeeze the other side of the part you made the incisions to cut the tendon. In doing so, the shrimp will stretch well. By doing this process, when cooking the shrimp, it won't curl and you can have a beautiful tempura. Furthermore, after stretching the shrimp, you can make a 1.5 times bigger shrimp tempura with the same shrimp. If the tail part is black, scratch it with a knife, then trim the tip. In doing so, it will remove the moisture and prevent the oil from splashing. Next, remove the eggplant calyx, leaving the head. Halve it vertically twice. By scoring it, the eggplant will spread nicely. If you serve it as one dish, the initial size is fine. But if it is a part of the course menu, use the half of the previous size. Cut the same way the other side in halves and score it. Place the green pepper side by side, then cut the tip and make holes by using the knife or a bamboo skewer. This is done because inside the green pepper, it is hollow and if you don't make holes when deep frying, it may explode due to the water vapor. At last, use the shimeji mushroom. Separate them into adequate size and then cut off its base. Use weak wheat flour and sieve it with a colander. By sieving it, you can make a beautiful tempura without lumps. Next, make egg liquid called tamasui in Japanese. Some people prefer to use the whole egg, but some uses only the yolk. To one L size egg, add 200 to 360 cc of cold water and mix well. The reason why you have to use cold water is because if you mix flour with room temperature water, the gluten will occur and it gets sticky. If the butter is sticky, the tempura will not be crispy. Other points you have to be careful are, if you use salt tempura flour, it already contains egg, so you do not have to add any more egg, but just cold water. Egg is used to make the butter thick. Measure out cold flour by leveling and add same amount of tamasui. Don't mix too much as it gets sticky. Mix it quickly so you have a perfect batter. The thickness may differ up to the flour type. If the batter is loose, add flour. If thick, add tamasui. Once the batter is ready, make sure to keep it cool when using it. Next, sprinkle flour on the ingredients. This process is called uchiko in Japanese and will permit the batter to stick well. However, if you sprinkle too much flour, it may cause the butter to come off or it gets dense, so remove the excess of flour with a brush. In case of vegetables, to keep visible its color, there are cases that you do not put butter on. So taking into consideration this fact, when you apply flour, 
make sure the flour layer to be thin. For seafood, as it contains moisture, do not forget to do uchiko. After you finish the uchiko, check the oil temperature and let's start deep frying. You can check the temperature by a tool or by a thermometer, but generally, drop a small amount of batter into the oil and by observing how it spreads, you can check the temperature. If the drop batter sinks 3 to 4 cm and then comes on the surface, the oil temperature is about 170 degrees. If it sinks 1 to 2 cm, and then comes up about 175 degrees and if it spreads on the surface it is about 180 degrees generally the oil temperature should be 170 to 180 degrees to deep fry however when you put ingredients in the temperature decreases so start with 175 to 180 degrees oil this method is also used to check the lightness of the butter too the more the butter contains water, the thinner it gets. But if the butter is too thin, it won't stick to the ingredients and you'll have hollow tempura. But if the butter is too thick, it means that it is dense and you cannot enjoy the crispiness with that butter. Therefore, to have a perfect butter, make sure that it spreads like a yarn when you put it into 175 degrees to 180 degrees oil. When deep frying the shrimp, grab the tail with the chopsticks and sweep it to the side. Butter has to be added because the initial one is not enough. This adding process is called to make flour bloom. By adding tiny butter, you can make the texture to be crispy. For this process, you use chopsticks with thick tips called tenbashi. The butter sticks well on these chopsticks, which is needed to make flour bloom. When deep frying mushrooms or ingredients with gap, swing it one time in the oil. By swinging it, you remove the excess of butter and you can make a beautiful tempura. The tip here is to change the deep frying order up to the cooking time. Seafood and hard vegetables, as it takes time to cook, deep fry them at first and all the ingredients will be ready at the same time. When deep frying the eggplant, using the bowl, spread the score part and put it into the oil, skin side down, as if you were removing the skin batter. By putting it from the skin side, the excess of butter disperses and the color doesn't go off. Make flour bloom, and if the ingredients are sticking, separate them before the butter gets hard. When using a pan, always mix the oil. This is not needed when using the fryer. Tempura scraps make the oil bad, so remove excess of tempura scraps of the ingredients without removing the butter. The surface hardens after 2 to 2.5 minutes. Flip it and deep fry well the other side too. What I would like you to remember here is that to check if the tempura is cooked do not check it, its appearance or the cooking time, but the sound of the oil splashing and the hardness of the surface. The splashing sound is made by the moisture between the ingredients and the butter becoming bubbles by the temperature and it pops. Therefore, at the beginning and at the end, the sound is very different. Depending on its size, but seafood in general, deep fried for 4 to 4.5 minutes. Vegetables, such as oba or green pepper, deep fried for 1 to 2 minutes. Other ingredients, deep fry them for 3.5 to 4 minutes and they will be ready. Green pepper and vegetables, remove them from oil before they start burning. When removing them from oil, Cut off well the oil and place them on the net perpendicularly. When placing the tempura on a plate, 
place an oil absorbing paper called tenshi and start placing non colorful ingredients first. In this movie, the less colorful white fish tempura is placed. This method is called makura in Japanese and it serves as a base to place the shrimp in three dimensions. Vegetables are usually colorful, so place them to the side and in the center, the shrimp and the green pepper as blue color. Serve the tempura with tensuyu, the tempura dipping sauce or salt. In case you serve it with salt, garnish with a citrus fruit. If you serve it with tensuyu, garnish with grated daikon and ginger. That is how you make tempura. Thank you for watching. If you look at the description of this movie, you can find the link that dispatches information regarding sushi, recruitment information, trial lessons, and the homepage of Tokyo Sushi Academy. So please have a look. Subscribe now and receive information regarding the movie's updates. Please press like on our Facebook and other SNS. Thank you for watching.